In the weeks since protests started in Kansas City, we've been looking for answers to questions raised by protesters. Here's one of the protest organizers speaking in a recent 41 Action News Town Hall. Nothing was mentioned about bias training, making sure that our officers are fit to police and urban environment. 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively asked some local police departments how they check for potentially harmful biases when they're bringing new officers onto the force. Before new officers start to serve in Overland Park, Officer Ken Brayton trains them in fair and impartial policing. The training is designed to make sure you understand that I'm human, I have biases, and I recognize that I have a bias. I force you out of your shell. I give you examples. I, we watch videos. We asked several departments what they do to evaluate biases and potential officers before they're on the job. In Overland Park, Lenexa and Casey Mo, that includes training they say addresses bias, also a background check and a psychological evaluation. They go through a social media check, an extensive social media check, looking specifically for racist and uh, white supremacists and other sort of uh, uh, postings and leanings. We also have a psychological evaluation by a, a medical doctor. Well, we will send our, our background officers, we'll send them all over the country to talk to people's friends, uh, teachers, uh, relatives. And we ask specifically the question, have you ever heard this person make any kind of racist comments or any uh, knowledge of them being involved with any racist organizations, etc. I'm not sure there's a test that can give you that. You can look at their past histories. You can ask them questions. I ask every applicant that, that makes it past the background check if they have any biases that might impact them. Sometimes you don't even know you have those biases. They, they're just in you and, and, and you can defend them. So our explicit biases are out in the open. Uh, they're clear, we understand them. Micah Thompson is an associate professor at UMKC Law School and also an expert in bias. Implicit biases are the opposite. They exist on the subconscious level. Those gut level decisions, that instinct that we like to rely on, that is oftentimes bias decision making. The way to address that from our standpoint is to train folks on it, to make them aware of it. Racial uh, bias training, um, we do every year. And again, during the academy, there's extensive training with it. For clinical psychologist Saz Madison, evaluating bias is only one part of a bigger picture of cultural competence. One crucial variable, he says, to decide if an applicant is suited to be an officer. But he also says. Primarily, we are not getting the types of evaluations that would incorporate these things you're asking about to a degree that's going to make a significant difference in the country. Dr. Madison gives the pre-employment evaluations for the Lenexa Police Department and says he works with dozens of other agencies. While he says most police departments do use pre-employment evaluations, he believes there need to be more resources, like a national standard of practice for those exams that includes cultural competence. Right now, he says there is only guidance. It is severely undervalued. A lot of agencies do the pre-employment evaluation as sort of a opportunity to check a box. Yeah, we did that, right? Um, we sent them for their psych, and now let's move on. I spoke with psychologist Bruce Capo, who says he believes most police departments do follow national guidance for pre-employment evaluations, including his company that provides evaluations for the Overland Park Police Department. Dr. Capo says while their exams should and do screen for cultural bias as much as they can, he also says there is not a valid and reliable tool to measure cultural bias that is accepted in the psychological community. But there has been a push to research and develop that. Dr. Madison says he is working on his own research now. In law enforcement, most is not good enough. All of us have to be good. Are we doing enough? I, I think we can always do more. Deputy Chief Carl Oakman also talked about moving forward in a recent 41 Action News Town Hall. When it comes to bias and, and respect, we, we offer the training, but we can be more robust in that training. And like I said, we have a long way to go. To be certified in Kansas, an officer has to have a pre-employment psychological evaluation. In Missouri, state statute does not require it. And I spoke with another police and public safety psychologist who told me about the challenges she says exist with trying to develop a job-related test for bias that's widely accepted, despite decades of requests for one. You can read why she says we still don't have that at KS HB.com. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.